A major change of plans for an arena that was slated to go up in downtown Palm Springs. The project, which is set to house the newest American League hockey team, will now be built off Interstate 10 closer to Palm Desert. News Channel 3 Shelby Nelson has more on the big move. Right here is where Valley residents anticipated a new sports and entertainment arena going up in downtown Palm Springs and to house 10,000 people. The developer says it's still going to go up, just in a different location. Basically, the design of the arena, uh, the size of the facility is all the same as it was uh, in the downtown location. A big move for a much anticipated sports and entertainment arena. The new 300,000 square foot project will be centrally located off the I-10 and Cook Street near Palm Desert. Well, I think we really listened to what the community was telling us, and they really wanted a state-of-the-art arena that was great for concerts and great for hockey, but really located kind of in a Central Valley location that would be free of any parking and traffic issues. And this new site really affords us that opportunity. Developing company Oakview Group plans to lease 43 acres of land from the HN and Francis C. Berger Foundation. Originally, the company was in negotiations with Agua Caliente Casino. Senior Vice President John Bolton says that all changed once COVID-19 hit. I think, you know, we were fully on board working together with them um, until really COVID hit. And it really made them reevaluate what was going on, just like, you know, most other businesses. It was on tribal land, so, you know, that impacts the tax revenue. That really goes to them for ticket sales and the things on tribal land if it was in Palm Springs. So we're not losing out on that. Palm Springs Mayor Jeff Kors believes the move will still bring tourism dollars. It's great that the arena is going to be in the Coachella Valley. I mean, you know, given COVID, given everything going on, it wouldn't have been surprising to see it being canceled entirely. Officials say the arena will be able to host 11,000 people for concerts and 10,000 people for hockey games. Um, you know, the team will be affiliated with the Seattle Kraken, which will be amazing and be a great partnership uh, between us and the team. Also, the arena will also have a training center, which will be located next door. Our plan calls for over 120 events a year. The company plans to break ground next year. They're aiming to have the arena ready for the 2022 hockey season. And that was Shelby Nelson reporting. The price tag is around $240 million. Oakview Group officials say they expect the project to bring 220 construction jobs and once the arena opens, about 350 positions. 